history will mark 2020 as an epoch. A pandemic, school closures, lost businesses, economic upheaval, the deaths of thousands close to home. As the list of historic landmarks piles up, it's easy to count the losses. But there's one thing that's not lost. Hope. Such a fascinating word with so many different meanings. Well, there's a lot of contexts uh, for hope. Of course, I have uh, my hope in Christ, my Lord. It means finding something good in something bad. Um, finding something that will work out. This COVID, just trying to find something good within it. Families actually getting closer together um, and doing things together. Seeing the volunteers uh, just gives me hope on how they're concerned about the clients uh, through the pandemic. Uh, we were closed for a short time, just seeing the, the concern, them reaching out, asking us, do we need anything, and just doing what needs done. Hope is generated by our interactions with one another, especially unity, when we see that men and women will use their own resources to help to benefit other men and women. Um, I hope to see the rollout of the vaccine. Um, I hope to see this third wave slow down. I hope to see us all being able to kind of collectively enjoy that place where every day is a little bit better than the one before. Um, it would be the end of, end of this virus, the end of, of mask wearing, hugging your neighbor again, shaking hands um, at a networking event. Um, that is my hope for 2021 with consumer confidence levels skyrocketing back uh, to where we were before this all started. Hope for 2021 will come if we all do our part, picking each other up, respecting each other, their beliefs, their traditions, their works, and their ideas. Yeah.